In today's video, I would like to talk about black girl magic or the not so black girl magic. We're going to talk about three women in the political space that has caused shame to black women everywhere. These three degenerates, deceivers, criminals, uselessness. What other word comes to mind when we think about women who have been put in positions of power where they are now using the positions that they've been given to do harm to the people they represent, to do harm in the communities, to do harm to the black girl reputation. These women are disgraceful, dishonest, devils, did we use that one yet? We hadn't used that one yet. Devils too, they devils too. And they're just plain old disgraceful. The three women that we are talking about in this conversation is Fonnie Fanny Willis, Tiffany A. Hinyard, and Regina Hill. Now, if you've watched this channel, then you know all about them. Regina Hill is more newer to this conversation because I have not covered her um, extensively as I've done with Tiffany Henyard and Fonnie Willis. But I recently posted a video of Miss Regina Hill, who turns out to be the original gangster, the OG of bad behavior in politics. Now, as a recent Miss Old Dog, Regina Hill has found new tricks. And in her new tricks is mortgage fraud and elder abuse. Allegedly, allegedly. Okie dokes, we want to make sure we're dropping the word allegedly. Elder abuse, mortgage fraud, real estate fraud. Uh, she has been investigated. And now it's all come crashing down on her because once the, F the FDLE decided to go in for the kill, all the dominoes started to fall apart in Regina Hill's world because now. Her home where she lives is being investigated. People are trying to figure out where does Regina Hill really live? There's been multiple scandals in reference to Regina Hill. One of them, where she lives. So it turns out as a commissioner, she makes about $60,000 a year. But Miss Regina Hill was living in a affordable housing complex where the max that you can make is about $38,000, $39,000. So as commissioner making $60,000 a year, you would not qualify to live in these apartments. But on her paperwork, she had those addresses from the affordable housing property as her place, as her residence. So right there, bad, bad move. Again, taking from the taxpayer, allegedly. So Ms. Regina Hill is not, no, not new to controversy. So with her latest controversy of mortgage fraud, real estate fraud, elder abuse, and all of these things, there's about seven or so charges 
being placed on her in reference to all of this. So now, Governor Ron DeSantis has brought in the hammer, which is suspending her for her misbehavior. As any good leader would do, come into the place to take care of your state. And so this is what Governor DeSantis's job is to make sure that the people under are doing what they're supposed to do. So he has suspended her for her misconduct, for her alleged criminal behavior when it comes to this subject. Black girl magic. Does Regina Hill has that seal of approval? I'd say not. She gives a bad name to women that looks like me. Women that thinks the way I do. Women with integrity. Women with morals. She gives we the black woman a bad name. Things like this leaves a bad taste in people's mouths. They leave a bad taste in the mouths of foreign people, people across the pond who looks at black women and say, you know what? That Regina Hill is an example of all of them. And so therefore, this is how they view us from those lenses when they see women like Regina Hill doing the things that they do. She and how her and these other two women move in the space really gives a bad look and a nasty taste for people like myself and other great Black women who has a voice who has truth to be told, who has heart for the community, who has heart for the country, who has heart for the people, who has heart for the message. People like them, these, and it's not necessarily party per se, again, it's morality. Yes, they all just so happen to be Democrats. It makes a big difference. They all happen to be Democrats who has no morals, who has no scruples, who has no conscience, who has no integrity, who has no credibility. And basically, they have no God either. No spirituality when it comes to these things. And so we are tainted by the actions and the character and the actions of these women. So Regina Hill, her black magic is toxic to the black girl magic. Seen that? Heard that? Good. 